<laughs> We're pulling our breath in. Hi! It's us, Riley and Jensen. Jensen and Riley. We should, you should be Jensen and I should be Riley. Let's do it. Okay. Guys, I cut my hair. Riley cut her hair. Jensen cut her hair. Jensen cut her hair. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Looks so good, so healthy. My hair was very split endy. It's all right. Looks good now. I love it. Riley cut her hair. Saw it here first. She hasn't even posted on Instagram yet. I mean, I probably will by the time this is up. This will probably, this, yeah, probably, who knows. But Riley cut her hair, so fun! <laughs> what else? Um, no. Anything else fun? Not really. Okay. Well, we decided it would be good because you've done, you like did a video about your diabetes, how you found out and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Have you done an update since? Me and Lindsay did one, but we didn't get that much. Okay. We thought it'd be, because I, I feel like you get a ton of questions about your diabetes. Yes. First, like how you even found out you had diabetes, how you're doing now, what are next steps, all that fun stuff. Right. Not even fun stuff, but stuff. Yes. So. We asked on Instagram just what questions you guys had for Riley, and we're gonna answer them today. Before we get into questions, we want to eat a cute little snack. Little snack of real. Our built bars. Our favorite built yes. bars. Built yes. bars. Built bars. Built, built bars. bars. You guys, you know we love these things. We have yes. talked about them so much, but we seriously are obsessed. They are so good. They taste so stinking good. Yes. Um, they do. In this case, okay, you guys, so there is a promo today that there's this flavor. It's called Coconut Brownie Chunk. I believe it's a new flavor. It's only available today. We will put the link, the code, and everything to get these bars. They're so good. I haven't ever tried this flavor. Have you? Yes. Is it good? It's been in my fridge for a little while. Yes, it's very good. And this bar alone it has 150 calories and 15 grams of protein, which is mm. so freaking good. It's really good because it has like brownie chunk on the top and Ooh. then like the coconut milk bar part on the bottom. Yum. And this is perfect for diabetes because this has 18 grams of carbs. So this is perfect for just minimal carbs. Or when I have low blood sugar, this will just bring me right up to where I need to be. No, it's perfect. And but it's seriously? good for you. So it's better than eating like it's super sugary stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. like. It's really good for you. And, and it's holy good. crap, this tastes so good. So again, this flavor is only available today. It's the coconut brownie chunk. And holy crap, you guys, this flavor is so freaking good. And it's you know busting. the drill. It's bussin'. Busting. Busting? <laughs> I thought it was bussin'. It is. Oh. It's bussin'. But bussin'. actually, this might be my favorite flavor. It is so stinking good. And don't forget, a little tip. Put it, sorry. Put it <laughs> in the refrigerator. It keeps it, like, nice and cold and refreshing and, and good. So good. Um, we will put the link in our description so you guys can check out these built bars and especially this flavor. It's so good. And don't forget to use our code Arnold Sisters 10. And yeah, this is good. I'm gonna keep eating this. Okay, now that we are done with our snack roos, we are ready to get into this Q&A. Riley's getting a drink of her fresca. Is that your new drink of choice? Yes, I'm gonna be drinking it throughout. You're the host and I'm interviewed. Yeah, we thought, I didn't tell Riley what questions. Not that they're like secretive, but I just feel like I want to get like your honest like reaction to them. 
reaction to them. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> How has it been doing dance and struggling with diabetes? Hmm. Honestly, dance has kept like diabetes off of my mind. Like when I go to dance for like eight hours, of course I'm like thinking about my diabetes and like what my blood sugar is to make sure I'm not like exerting like my energy on like a high sugar day or like obviously I feel like you're mindful of it yes but like going to dance helps me like not feel like sad about it or like worried or guilty about it yeah because sometimes it's just it brings a lot of guilt and like especially when you don't have like the sugars you need you always just feel like it's your fault but it really isn't it's just sometimes how your body reacts to things but yeah dance really helps me and also like um I know a lot of people have like a lot more medications than I do and luckily I'm grateful I don't because I am so active and I do like so many things that it helps my body stay healthy while it's like doing other things. So, yeah. Yeah. Well too and I bet like yeah like you said dancing helps it already like mm -hmm. being able to stay active be active it's like making your body like process I don't know exactly how it does it but I'm sure it helps a ton. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's everything going? Is it different having a diabetic in the family? I can answer this because I guess the second part. I don't want to say it's like different. And the craziest thing, like it affects us, but it doesn't affect us because Riley is actually really good at like taking charge with her diabetes. Like she does everything herself. I think if we, if you were younger, I, I mean, I bet it, it affects mom and dad because they yeah. have to think about it more. Mm -hmm. but like for us, like, yeah, I think about it. Anytime we go to a restaurant, like I'm always like, Riley, did you do your insulin? Like mm -hmm. I always ask you, but I feel like Riley is so like independent that she has been able to just like take it upon herself to do everything. And we like trust that she does everything. But it is really weird that you have diabetes. Yeah, it's kind of weird that that happened to me. I know, and like, yeah, we just have no idea what that's like, literally. Yeah, and, and I also kind of keep it on the deal a little bit, so not a lot of people know I have it. Well, you're not like super like boastful about it, which, yeah. not that anyone should be, but I feel like you're just kind of, you just manage it, and you just do it yourself, which is awesome. But. Yeah. Okay. But how's it going? How are you doing? I'm doing good. I mean, I have those days where I just cry my eyes out. <laughs> and I hate my I life. I do too. I do too. <laughs> but yeah. Everyone does. But I could have it a lot harder. It's true. I could have it a lot harder. So yeah. I'm okay. I can manage it. And I can still eat whatever I want. You so just have really, to like track it. Yeah, it's really not that bad. But I feel like you've done a good job. Like it's more normal now. Like yes. at first it was like stressful and I just feel like now it's just like every day yeah. that you just... And I'm actually doing pretty good. My I can't remember the last time I had like a high glucose. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay. Okay. What were your symptoms at first? So basically at first I was just like getting really tired and I would go to dance competitions and I would just dance really bad. You wouldn't dance bad. You just felt like you wouldn't like have my, energy. Like my brain was like foggy and like... I felt like I was putting in so much work and it wasn't like showing kind of. Mm -hmm. And that was like part of the first stages. And then about like a month before I went to the hospital, I was peeing like six times in the night. I was losing a lot of weight. I was super, super, super hungry. Like I was eating constantly, which was horrible. And then I was getting like super dry and all the things I was like. What do you mean dry? Like, my skin was super dry because I was oh, super, okay. like, dehydrated. I was getting, yeah. I got some pretty bad um, acne a little bit there for a second. And I was, like, taking acne medications, which I don't know if that was okay at the time, but I was I mean, anyways. who knows? Yeah, but but too, it's crazy. And I feel like, I mean, it was hard because when, like, a lot of the symptoms she had were, like, teenager symptoms. Like, tired. Like, my mom. Tired, was, grumpy. Yeah. Like, she would have such a hard time waking me up in the morning. She's like, what's going on? But, but literally, like, it, was it was just because, because tired, yeah, but. she was so depleted. Her body was not healthy at all. Mm -hmm. And so that, I, I mean, it makes sense why you wouldn't be happy. You'd be tired all the time. Like, you were dehydrated. Yeah. So, I've, I don't know. But it was crazy. I mean, you probably have heard us tell you this story before. But 
Riley was showing, I don't even know if it was me and Brinley or just the sisters, Riley showed us this TikTok that and had... I sent it to the group chat. It that's was, what it was. It was a TikTok of like all the diabetes symptoms and I had them all. She's like, like you guys, swings. this is me. And we were like... I was like, guys, I have diabetes. And everyone was like, <laughs> no way, are you kidding me? Uh, and it was too good. You and did. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Does your boyfriend help you during diabetes? Sorry, I'm jumping a little bit. Um, nervous. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, like, I don't really need much help. That, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, he knows I have it. He, like, I don't know, like. Does he ever go, is your blood sugar okay? Sometimes. Or, did he, ever, or like, he, like, makes sure, makes sure that I have my insulin if we're going to eat. Ah, or, so cute. Yeah. But, I mean, there's nothing you can really help with. Well, you know? no, it's not like he can, I mean, he could give you the shots. He but did give me like, a shot one time. I let him do it. Nah. I did. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. That's awesome. Are you still using the Dexcom? Yes, I am. It is on my stomach right now. It is awesome. I love Explain it that to them. Why is it on okay. your stomach? So, why is it on my stomach? Yeah. So, you can put it pretty much anywhere that there's, like, a good, like fatty area you know so i usually do it on my arm or my stomach you can, i'm pretty sure you can put it on like your like butt i think or oh, maybe like, like your upper near butt? your thigh yeah something like that but but you have to do that because you have to change where you put it right uh-huh but like, i can like if it's on my stomach for 10 days i can put it on this side of my stomach do you, you know is it just because they won't why just so that the where the needle i mean like the thing went in it needs like time to heal Mmm, so they just want you to put it in different spots. Yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, I mean, I, I think th that's the reason. I mean, it makes Correct sense. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, so do you like your Dexcom? Yes, it's very helpful. Yeah. Keeps me very safe and aware of where I'm at. Yeah, and probably so much better than pricking your finger. Yeah. Okay, does the shot hurt? Uh, usually not, but there's a couple times where, like, it hits something and it's like, ooh. Or sometimes it like stings. Mm. But I have this last shot of the day where I do 19 units and that's quite a bit. What do they call it again? It's called the Lantis. Mm. So that's like the, that one's kind of painful just because it's more liquid than like what I usually put in. Because I would never just put 19, 19 units. units of normal insulin in my Yeah, in me. that's a lot. How are you doing mentally? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, there's some times where I'm just like, why? You know? Yeah. Like, life could be so much easier. Yep. But, like, I still have a good life, and I'm still doing exactly what I was doing before I had diabetes. Yeah. It's just an addition of something, you know? Yeah. Just an extra step. Yes. Well, good. I'm glad. Okay. Do you plan on getting an insulin pump? How does this play a role in long dance days? So, basically, my doctor told me about this one where... It's like a tube that goes into your stomach, and then you can take off the, like, the actual electronic part. Oh, like the bulky thing? Mm -hmm. oh. I would take that off during dance, but I just still don't understand the point of it. Because I'm at dance for, like, nine hours a day, and so, like, obviously I don't want this on me while I'm dancing, but when else am I going to wear it, you know? And if it's, yeah. like, controlling my lantus and how much insulin I'm getting throughout the day... How is that, like, how's well, that going to work? didn't they, yeah. They wanted you to push your own insulin for, like, the first year or something, yeah. right? Like, they want you to learn how to do that or but no? But I'm fine. Yeah, they did. But basically, also, like, insurance and all that stuff, we still need to figure out, like, if I can get it or, uh -huh. like, how we can, because it is uh, an expensive thing. Oh. It's just kind of like, I mean, there's one, there's an Omnipod, and... Oh, that yeah, stays on all the time. That. Yeah, so that one stays on all the time. But I just, I hate, like, having devices on my body, and I know it's for my safety, but, like, I'm honestly fine with what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Like, you're okay giving your shots. Yeah, I am. Yeah, which is great. It, I mean... It might be, it might be, like, something that I love so much, but I just don't know. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah, figure it out. Okay, what's your go-to food um, to eat when you're low? Like, your quick... Foods that you eat. Well, like I said in the beginning of the video, I like to eat built bars just because they're small and small. small. <laughs> they're smaller. 
they're, they taste good and they're 18 grams of carbs. So basically I have to have like 15 to 18 grams of carbs when my blood sugar is low and it'll just like take me up. But I, it's really just what's available to me. Yeah. Um, I sometimes bring fruit snacks with me just cause those are easy and quick. Yeah. Like I just bring fruit snacks wherever I go just in case, but it really just depends on what's around. But if it's like I'm hungry and I'm like, Ooh, I have like a sweet tooth. Let's try something. I'll like go get candy or something <laughs> because it's just like so much energy to have to eat candy with insulin and all that. Yeah. So when I have low blood sugar, I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to take advantage of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's been the hardest part so far? The hardest part? Yeah. I think the hardest part is probably watching people just like eat, you know? Yeah. Or like say I'm at school and I don't have my insulin with me. And we're all going to lunch together. I'm like, guys, sorry. I have to go home and get my insulin if I'm going to eat. Or I just go and I don't eat. And uh, I don't enjoy my time. Yeah. And then I just have to eat at home, you know? That's, like, yeah. probably the worst part. It's yeah. just, like, the extra planning. Yeah. Like, you could just, yeah, it would be easier to just get in the car and go eat. But, yeah. And also, like, um, when I have low blood sugar, the feeling of that is just not fun. Yeah. It's like you... It's a really bad, like, dizziness and, like, you sweat a lot. You get really hot. Huh. It's a bad feeling. Dang. Yeah. What well, is one positive thing that's come from diabetes? Uh, I'd say just being, like, a voice for it, you know? Yeah. And, like, being there for someone who might get diagnosed or has questions like this or, like, I don't yeah. know. Because some it is, people are interested in it and how it works and, like, yeah. why it happens. Because a lot of people mistake, like, type 2 and type 1. Like, people, like, a bunch of people, like, DM'd me and were like, you need to stop eating sugar. Like, that's why you got diabetes. And I'm just like... Like, people don't understand educate it. Educate yourself. Yeah. You know? But I don't know. And it's, it's been cool like, for us because we, like, actually, like, know about it now. And it's cool, like, I'll sometimes, like, see... I don't even remember where I was, but I saw this girl and she had a Dexcom on. And I was like, oh my gosh, she has type 1. And I just was like... Maybe I, type 1. Or, well, yeah, maybe, I guess. <laughs> I don't know exactly. But it's just like, I'm now familiar with it where I like... I can talk about it when people ask me how you're doing and what you have to do. I can talk about it and educate them on what type 1 is. And it's cool for you, too, because you are young. You're 16. Mm -hmm. You have followers on Instagram. And literally, when she got diagnosed, so many people reached out to her. Uh -huh. Just first to just say, like, sorry and stuff. But also telling them that they had diabetes as well. Type 1 diabetes as well. Because it is a very... Oh. Whoa. Um, it is a very common thing. So it's just, just like... crazy. But it's like a big community. And it's yeah. like... And it's cool that you can, like, talk about it. And be an advocate for it. Yes. Yeah. Super cool. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, kind of personal, but do you still get your period? Yes, there was... So I ha I didn't have it for six months, though. And that was another, probably, symptom <laughs> at yes. the beginning. At the beginning, I just... I didn't notice, but I didn't have a period for six months, and obviously I knew I wasn't pregnant, because I just... No, I'm yeah. not pregnant. Yeah. But I was like, what's going on? And I just didn't really think about it for probably, like, four months, because I was like, sweet, this is awesome. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, why have I not had my period? But... I'm completely regular now, having it every month, so. Do you feel good. like they've changed? Or, like, I've gotten worse or better or? They're the same as the they same. were before. That's good, though. I think that was just, like, the first thing to shut down when, like, well, everything was going bad. Well, you were, the thing is, you were so skinny, and to have a period, you have to have body fat. Mm hmm So you were probably just so low in body fat. I mean, there's other factors, but, <clears throat> but yeah, that was one of the symptoms at first, too, which is crazy. Have you gotten used to it? Yes, I have. I've gotten a lot better at managing it, getting a lot better at being used to it. <laughs> but yeah, I am. Yes. We want to know about your boyfriend. Mm -mm. We're keeping it secret. <laughs> Super exclusive. Is that what it's called? No. I don't. Yeah, exclusive. Uh, well, Riley. I feel like a lot of these are the same. Mm -hmm. But you did a great job. Thank you. But yeah, I thought this, I mean, a lot of you are really interested in it. Like, I feel like I see on our videos comments like, we want to hear about Riley's diabetes. So we did this video for Here you guys. Is. Here it is. Here's if you want another one. Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's really cool though, because Riley is very knowledgeable about it. Obviously, she's had to be, but like, and two, she's taken it like so well and has just handled it. Awesome. So, she's a good model of a person you should look up to. Oh, thanks, uh -huh. Jensen. But don't forget, you guys, to check out the new bar from Bill. We have our link and code in the description, so make sure you check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye, Bye. guys.